Greetings by Ina Calvitula Jesu Christo o Matla ker awa ke le tsatsile le botse ke le tsatsile le gore le dirile ke modimo re santsane re kitika yona go khidie ya bomme mo ile gore a gana mo ile gore a when we pass the baton we need to pass it correctly to the next generation to come yesterday i had an opportune time where we went to serve in various projects by Ina it is wonderful to serve this is where I got to see that indeed it is true that uh, when you are a Christian, you are really called to serve and to give to others. We gave others our time. It was wonderful to see our young children being so happy by the little that we could actually do. I am here to encourage you wherever where you are in your various spaces that do something special for someone else and that it actually gets to boost your morale that actually gets to make you feel that you are purposeful that gets to remind you that indeed we are created by the almighty god who actually gave his life for us who actually was there to serve people from from the time when he he, he actually started uh, doing his work uh, until the time when he went to the cross he was serving till to date we can still be able to call upon him he is able and just to respond to all the challenges that we are faced with so before we can actually start by you know, i just want us to pray father we thank you for this day that you have made this is the day where we are entering your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and with praise. Father God, less of us and more of you. Lord, for your children to hear your word as Father God not diluted, but directly from where you want us to speak and how you want us to speak to your children. Anoint their ears, Lord. Father God, we come against everything that you would want to stand before their way. Father God, as a stumbling block for them not to hear from you. We thank you, Lord, that this word it is sharper than any other edged sword. It is able to pierce through the marrow and the sorrow. It is the descent of all thoughts. And I pray, Lord, for your children to come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Children of God, you know, yesterday I saw life in a different light and uh, it is wonderful to really uh, live a purposeful life i got to see that indeed um, we are created to serve god we are created to worship him we are created to do his will and in us doing his will we need to follow his precepts so as we are following suit from our subjects of that of becoming women of purpose and women of intentionality i was really pondering in the word i don't know about you children of god i want to live a purposeful life and it is a journey i don't know about you children of god i want to live a life of intentionality not a life of that of being famous for the world but for me to be famous for for things of god not just by me saying things but for me living a life where my life emulates that. It is a journey. It is a journey, Bayina, but it is a fulfilling journey. It is a journey that is worth living. It was wonderful to, to live that. And and I, I, I thought to myself, you know, God, this is who I am. This is who you have actually um, brought me to life to do. And it was truly, truly fulfilling. So children of God, I've been pondering on the book of Proverbs 3, verse 5 until 6, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your understanding. You know, he says in his book that he has given us a good doctrine, which is the word of God. Joshua, when he was about to take over from Moses, he says, but how shall I do this? He says, read of my word day and night. And when he started reading of the word of God, he says it tastes like honey. So children of God, he never left us alone. He left us with the Holy Spirit and he left us with a roadmap, which is the word of God. And this particular word of God it is able to guide us in terms of how we should do life on a day-to-day -day basis. So as I am reading in this portion of scripture, it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. When you trust someone, 
It means that you have put your whole confidence in them. It means that whoever who can come and say something about this person, I, I do not take their story because of I have, I, I have put my whole confidence in trusting him. Hallelujah. So children of God, when you trust him, it means that I need to trust him with all of my heart. And when we read again in the book of Proverbs, a 4 verse 23, it says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. If you want to know how a person is feeling, if you want to know where a person is going, if you want to know where the person is, hear what they are speaking, because of that which they are speaking, that is what is full in their hearts. Hallelujah. So children of God, we need to guard against our hearts. And lean not on our own understanding, which means that I need not need to lean upon the things of this particular world. Because this world is bovodo. This world it is influenced by many things. I need to lean according to how God wants me to live my life. And the book of Proverbs Children of God, if you want to know how to live your life and how to emulate how God wants us to live, read this particular book. You will understand that uh, this is how I'm supposed to go. This is where I'm supposed to stop. Uh, he, he says that and find the knowledge of God. And, and for the Lord gives wisdom. He is the one who is able to give wisdom. And how are we able to get this wisdom? By reading the word of God. And he further says in verse 6, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. How is it that I need to acknowledge him? It means that your life is not your life. It means that you are created for a purpose. It means that um, when I wake up in the morning, I need to acknowledge him because he knows the end in the beginning. I need to say, God, direct my life. God, as I am going to work, Holy Spirit, lead me. How I respond to issues, God, lead me. How I raise my children, God, lead me. God, uh, whenever when I, 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 I face troubles, how am I supposed to, to respond to them? <laughs> you know, God, God, God is able to do mighty exploits by you know, and as we follow his precepts, he is able to unpack it to us in terms of how we are supposed to live our lives. He further says in the book of Proverbs 3 verse 24 to 25, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. I know of many people who cannot be able to sleep in their beautiful homes. I know of many people who cannot be able to drive their beautiful cars. Why? Because of I have not handed everything over to him. As children of God, we feel as though God can be able to only deal with certain portions or certain rooms of our lives. But yet the scripture says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. In all your ways, in all your ways, not some of your ways. Don't give him certain portions of your life and keep some to yourself and say, these ones I am going to take care of themselves. He says, in all your ways, all your ways, acknowledge it, and he shall direct your path. You know, when your path is directed by God, children of God, you will be able to sleep in the road. When you, he says, he says that, uh, 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 yes, you will, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror. People are afraid of sudden terror. People are afraid that if I take this driver's license, will I be able to drive? People are afraid that if I start this business, will it be able to, to be successful? People are afraid that if I say yes to this marriage, will it be able to work? People are afraid. And this is the enemy's trap to still kill and destroy. But God is saying, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So when you have trusted in him, when you have taken him and you said, you know, God lead me. When you have said to yourself, God, without you, I cannot be able to do anything. 
You are able to have that sweet sleep. You are able to start things because of you are led by him. You are able to not be afraid of the terrors that are going to come by night because you will be able to understand that he said in his word that uh, you will tremble on top of snakes and serpents and by no means you shall not get hurt. Hallelujah. They shall come in one direction, but they shall flee in various directions. Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver them from all. Hallelujah. You will understand that I am the head and I am not the tail. I am blessed in the city and I'm blessed in the field. Whatever that I touch, it is blessed. Hallelujah. So it can only happen if only I trust in the Lord with all of my heart. And lean not on my own understanding. My understanding, it has shortcomings. My understanding will say it is impossible. My understanding will say it will not happen. My understanding will say I want to hear what people are saying. Children of God, you know God is able to do mighty exploits. And many a times we take the long route and not go directly to him. He says, lay your hands on the sick and the sick shall be healed. There was a time in my life where we were forever fixing the Jojo tank. This particular Jojo tank, it would actually chow a lot of money. And, and every time the problem would, okay. But because of, to my understanding, it was something small. I thought that I could fix it on my own. Until I realized that, no, man, I need to hand this to God. We prayed about it till today it is working effectively and efficiently so. So children of God, this message it is there to encourage you to say, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Be blessed and may God do you well as you are going out and becoming purposeful and becoming intentional. As we close, I want to pray with you who has been fearful of starting that business. I want to pray with you who has been fearful of the sudden terrors in the house that God has blessed you with. I want to pray with you who has come and again been repeatedly repeating the record of the enemy and not that which God has told you. I want to pray with you who has been afraid of starting that particular business and, 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 and the way God wants you to start it. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you because the enemy's plans us to, uh, uh, to inflict fear in us so that then we don't do that which God wants us to do. Father, I pray for your children. Master Heavenly Father, do them well. You are God who says we need to lean on you with all our with with all that we do, Father God, and not lean on our own understanding. I pray, Lord, that you do your children well. I pray, Lord, that you release them, Monsieur Noel, from the enemy's plans. I pray, Lord, that, Father God, they are freed. I declare and I decree your favor upon your children. I declare and I decree, Father God, that they shall speak with boldness. Father God, the Bible tells us that, in the book of Acts, that as, 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 as the Spirit of God fell upon them, they started speaking in other tongues. Father God, they started preaching with boldness. So, Father God, I pray for your children who are listening to this word that God if they have you they have it all it is enough to have you in the name of Jesus we pray amen